one of my ditzy moments, I lost the first video. So I'm showing you a picture of the noodles that I will be using. You're gonna see me boiling it just the same way that you would make your pasta. So I'm gonna let my noodles continue boiling. I'm gonna switch around. I let that boil on that side, get my work in here. And just wanna drizzle in some um, olive oil. Next is my chicken. I'm just going to sprinkle on a little salt on my chicken and do the same with the black pepper. Okay. I mean, it's chicken. You don't need to marinate it, marinate it too much. It's pretty, uh, thinly sliced. All I did was just take about a pound of chicken, cut it up really thinly, and I'm just going to kind of stir fry it to like, start getting brown a little bit. Waiting for my olive oil to heat up. It looks pretty hot. So all we're gonna do is just take that sliced chicken, thinly sliced chicken, and plop it in there. Just like that, beginning to sizzle. Just to get it brown and get the chicken to start cooking. Um, I think I overcrowded my chicken in here a little bit. This is way too much chicken in the world, but that's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, just for reference, it's good to have enough space in there. It cooks, the chicken cooks quicker if you have more space in there. And so we'll let that cook. Okay. And while that's cooking, we're just going to mix up what we're going to use as a base for the stir fry. So, in a little bowl, all you want to do is mix in in a little bowl, all you want to do is mix in about, you know, about a quarter cup of some um, chicken broth. You want to take about two tablespoons of some cherry, cherry cooking wine. Love this stuff. Okay. About two tablespoons of some low sodium soy sauce. Just like that. I don't know what happened to my measuring cup, but I'm making it work. I have about half a lemon, just going to squeeze that in quickly. Oop, it looks like my chicken is burning a little bit. Just going to stir it up. You don't want that chicken to burn. Okay, just stir it up. Chicken looks good. Want to continue mixing? Next thing is a little crushed red peppers. You want to put in some black pepper. You want to get your seasoning in right because this is going to be what's going to give that taste to the whole meal. And then you want to throw in some salt. Okay? And then the last thing we're going to be putting in there is some brown sugar. Just want to put in about half a teaspoon of some brown sugar. Okay? And that's all nicely mixed. And then you set that aside. We're going to go back to our chicken here. And it's ready to come out. You're not trying to cook it completely. It's just to get it so that it's not red anymore. So I'm going to take my chicken out. So you see, it's no long, there's no longer any pink or redness to it. The chicken is half ready. juice in there. That's okay. You don't need to wash that out or anything. Just drizzle a little bit more oil. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and mix in our onions and the leeks and garlic. 
The good thing with garlic, if you leave your garlic out for about, you know, two minutes or so before cooking it, it really does release, release all the flavors. You really get the full potential of your garlic seasoning. So that's what I always do. I always chop my garlic ahead of time and let it sit at least two minutes. So we're just going to stir fry our onions until the onions are nice and soft. Be careful because you really don't want this to burn. Okay? Otherwise your food's going to taste burnt and then it's just not good. Okay. So that's cooking nicely. My onions are starting to brown up. My garlic is brown already. And oh, that garlic is getting in there and smelling so good. Now all you're going to do, the next thing you're going to do is pop in your wash, this already washed, your uh, broccoli and your snow peas. Just throw it in there. It's going to be nice and crunchy. If you don't like your broccoli too crunchy, you can steam it a little bit. And you just want to stir fry that. And let it cook maybe like a minute or so. Okay? So the broccoli is looking nice and green, the peas are cooked. What you're going to do next actually is throw in the chicken. So you just return the chicken and all the extra sauce on it. Throw that back in there, mix it up. And then throw in the sauce. The sauce that you mix, just throw that in there. Okay. How great that looks. It's a great way to use all your vegetables at home. You can throw in bell peppers, mushroom, whatever you have on hand, just throw it in there. It's very nutritious. You can actually have it just like this and not have any noodles in there if you like. Okay? But I'm hungry, so I need the extra carbs from the noodles. You want to let that cook? I think our noodles are pretty much ready. So I'm going to drain out the water. And then just throw on some really cold water on there. Oops. I'm just rinsing off with some really cold water on my noodles. And then you can go ahead and transfer the noodle into the pot. And at this point you can season with a little bit more um, black pepper. So I'll just throw in some black pepper there. I don't think there's any such thing as too much black pepper. I love garlic and black pepper and sometimes I think I go overboard with it. But you know, I think after a while you start to do things to your liking and your flavors. So that's pretty much going to be my dinner for tonight. So I'll just let that cook about two more minutes and then we should be all set for dinner. If you like it extra creamy, if you like the sauce extra creamy and thick, you can throw in some cornstarch in there as well. Or you, if you don't have cornstarch in hand, you can just use basic white flour. Okay, just a little bit, about half a teaspoon of some white flour or cornstarch, mix it in the sauce that you prepared ahead of time, and that will help thicken up the sauce and give it more um, body, more body to your sauce. And that's it guys, the dinner is ready. That's how I make my lo mein with chicken and broccoli and snow peas. Hopefully you like this recipe, go at home, try it out, and if you do, let me know how you like it. Um, but until next time, bon appétit, and thanks for watching. Bye!